All right, welcome back guys. So we're gonna jump into this video as well. So today, what we are going to be doing is, if you can't tell, I am preparing the block to install the head. So, it is recommended um, if you're using a used block or any block and uh, after get, uh, getting it machined, any, like I've been saying through this entire build, cleanliness. Being clean is gonna make a good build. So, what I did, um, Last night, I filled in each uh, head bolt or head stud uh, port. I filled it all the way to the top with brake clean and let it sit for, I don't know, a few hours, 24 hours. I let it sit overnight uh, so it can really break down all that carbon or oil or anything that's stuck and jammed up in there. And now what I'm going to do is just go through each and every hole with a, an OEM head bolt and screw it down and unscrew it a few times uh, to really make sure those threads are cleaned. This is gonna be like my thread chaser. I couldn't find a thread chaser or a tap that would fit it and I just really don't trust them. I don't wanna ruin the threads in there. So what I am using is just an OEM head bolt going in and out and making sure the threads are clean and it's not grabbing anywhere. So after I cleaned all the threads, I just installed the head studs, finger tight them, do not torque them at all, just all the way down finger tight and if it grabs it all, if it binds up at all, uh, take it out, clean up the thread again and just hope that uh, it, it goes in nicely. So once they're all threaded in, just make sure they're all finger tight and clean your mating surface where the head gasket's gonna lay and then I just set the head gasket on. One thing that I did forget that I had to go back for is don't forget your dowels. I purchased new dowels because when they resurface it, they have to take these dowels out. I put my, I forgot to put mine in, so I have to take out the head studs and restart. But now I put them in and everything's ready for the head. All right, so here's the brand new cylinder head or the reused one. Um, that's been resurfaced. It's like brand new, no scores, no scratches. Ready to get laid down on there. So now we got the cylinder head on. Um, in this little baggie here, I have all the nuts and uh, washers, and I put it in. Put some air P torque loop in here, and now I'm just like mixing it all up, um, getting them all lubricated, get all the bolts all gummed up with the air P torque loop, and then. I'm gonna apply just little dabs onto each top of the studs and uh, kind of spread them on the threads the best I can. It's kind of tight now since the head's on, but uh, once all of them are uh, lubed up, then I'm just gonna hand tighten all these bolts on, or these nuts and washers, and then we're gonna go through the torquing sequence. All right, so I got all the nuts and washers on the studs. And I just finger tighten them all with the socket. 
and now I'm going to do the uh, torque sequence for my specific head studs. Uh, again, the head studs that I'm using are custom made ones by Speed Performance, and uh, they're the they're Speed Performance L19 head studs. They're almost like ARP L19 head studs, but I believe what's different that Speed Performance does with them, uh, how they've made it custom is they actually made the nut uh, a little bit larger and the washer's larger, um, but the actual stud uh, that goes into the block, I think is ARP's same type, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna follow uh, Speed Performance's uh, torque procedure for the L19s. We're gonna have to torque all the bolts to 35 foot pounds and loosen them. Torque again to 35 foot pounds, loosen them. Torque again to 35 foot pounds and loosen them. And torque once more, 35 foot pounds and loosen them all. They want you to torque it about three to four times, all bolts and loosen them just so it knows that the lube and the threads are all seated correctly and when you're torquing you're going to have the most accurate uh, torque reading. We're going to start the torque procedure starting from the middle working our way outwards and once it's all torqued up I'll come back for an update. Alright, so the head is fully torqued on, um, shouldn't be going anywhere, I torqued it to 72 foot pounds each one. Uh, it is recommended to torque to 70, but I just went 2 foot pounds extra just because the torque wrench is a plus or minus um, uh, 2, so a little bit tighter, I think it should be fine. Um, the bolts don't snap or nothing, but it may have yield. I don't know. I, I think it will be fine. We'll see. This is all a test. So the only thing that we have now to do is I am going to tidy up, tidy up these bolts. There's some excess loop build up. See, there's lots on that one building up over there. I'm just gonna get a towel or a cloth, shop towel, wipe off the. Uh, nuts and washes a bit just uh, so the oil doesn't get too contaminated too much of this torque lube um, I was watching another video a guy said that too much torque lube built up in the oil pan and actually spun a rod bearing or spun some type of bearing on the bottom end so I'm just gonna wipe up the excess I'm not gonna take any risk and that should be it for the short block